Our focus remains on the crisis in the health sector as both doctors and nurses take uh, uh, continue to be on strike for the second day today. Talks collapsed yesterday and on Sunday. Let's see what will happen today as we understand the talks are underway as we speak. But let's take a look at what's happening across the country with this stalemate in the health sector. Carol Derry now joins me from the Nyeri County Referral Hospital. Carol, ad update us on the situation uh, at that hospital right now. Are services going on? Uh, what's happening with the patients? Are they being turned away? Are they there? What's going on? Right. As the strike enters day two countrywide, it is also really an unfortunate situation here in Nyeri County. We are the Nyeri County Referral Hospital. It is a level five hospital, meaning it is quite a big facility that caters to patients, not just from this particular region, but from surrounding counties. It is always busy, the Nyeri County Referral Hospital being the level five hospital of this region. So there isn't much happening. And I think uh, our cameraman, Samson Dege, can show you the empty benches as he pans the camera to the reception, the waiting room. There is virtually nobody, yet this is a place that is usually brimming with patients awaiting to be attended. And also, he can show you that uh, there are only students from KMTC who are at the reception, and they're telling us they do not have anything to do. As you can see right there, they're just waiting to attend to anybody who might need their services, but as of now, they have been sitting idle with nobody taking care of, uh, or rather, there is nobody to attend to. So this is a situation at the Nyeri County uh, referral County Hospital. We managed to talk to some patients outside the gate. Uh, there was a mother with a young boy, an eight-year-old boy, who broke his arm yesterday, and uh, he was bandaged, but they need better uh, care. They need uh, the boy to be looked at more keenly. That is why they had come to this level five hospital, but there was nobody to tend to them. There were no doctors, no nurses, no medics, just the students from KMTC. It's quite an unfortunate situation. And uh, with uh, Samson and Dege, we're just going to try and show you uh, a tour of the hospital. Just uh, take a walk with me, see the situation that there is here at the county hospital. Uh, the Nyeri Level 5 County Hospital. Virtually nothing is happening. All benches are empty. As you can see, we are living in the reception area. Uh, these are also different departments, empty benches. Nothing happening here at the hospital. As I said, this is a hospital that is always filled with patients. Uh, all the county specialists and uh, top medics usually tend to patients here, but Nothing is happening at this particular hospital. So this is a situation in Nyeri County, and it is a situation that is replicated also in other parts of Nyeri County, uh, where patients are streaming into public hospitals but are not finding the help or the care that they need. Uh, they are going to private hospitals, but even there they are full, talking about Madari Hospital and a few other private hospitals out in Nyeri County. There the patients are too many to be uh, tended to or, uh, you know, taken care of. So that is the situation that is happening here in Nyeri County. Mm, thank you very much, Carol and Darian, for uh, that comprehensive look at what's happening within the Nyeri County Referral Hospital. Uh, thank you so much. We'll definitely take a look and see uh, what happens should the talks, uh, you know, resolve to be fruitful by the end of the day today. Nyeri uh, County Referral Hospital, that is Carol and Derry who's there. Look at that, empty benches. And just the students from KMTC there who are uh, waiting on instruction. Carol, thank you very much uh, 